If you are looking to take your content creation to the next level, you are at the right place. In this video, I am going to talk about the top 5 AI tools that are going to help you create amazing content. So the first tool is a deep fake video tool that enables you to change a face in a video. This is a Google collab link. So the link is in the description if you want to use it. Once you have clicked on the link, this is the interface that will be shown in front of you. To start replacing the face in the video, you need to upload one file of the video and one file of the image that you want to replace the face with. So I'm going to go into my folders and downloads and this is the face that I want to replace my video with and right here I've also saved the video. So this is the video that I want to convert. This is a short from Peaky Blinders. Now once you have uploaded both the files, you need to go right here and play this. So just run this. The first play button, you just need to run it. Now this is going to take anywhere from 1 to 2 minutes. In the meantime, I'll show you the original video. So this is the original video. What have you got for me, Alfie? What should you bring me out here for? So this is a shot from Peaky Blinders and this is the face that I'm going to replace it with. Now once the processing is finished, go right here, copy the image, so copy path and then delete the previous JPG or PNG and paste by clicking on Ctrl V. Now do the same thing with the mp4 file, copy path from right here and then delete the previous file and then click on Ctrl V. Now let's run this. This is going to take anywhere from 3 to 6 minutes. So once you receive this message processing to video succeed, then go to this folder called Roop, open the folder. And your file will be right here. The file name is face changed video v2. Now double click on the video in order to download it. As you can see the download has begun. Now it's going to take anywhere from... It depends upon the length of the video that how much time it will take to download. This is the final video. What have you got for me Alfie? What should bring me out here for? Now a few things you need to keep in mind while using this tool is that you need to select shots that have the face completely visible and also there should not be much of a color difference. The shot should be 1080p or 4K to get better results. The next tool is called Pika Labs. Now just go to Google and type in pika.art and this is the website. Click on join beta and it will open up in Discord. Now once it is open in Discord, this is a tool that it is a generative AI tool which helps you convert images into video and also text into video. Once opened in Discord, this is what it will look like. Now there are multiple channels in Pika just like Midjourney. So generate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can open any channel and start generating videos. Now to generate videos, the structure is somewhat similar like Midjourney. Slash create and then write a prompt but before that click on this plus one button in order to add an image. So let's add an image in order to create the scene. Let's create a cinematic video of this image. So let's write cinematic drone shot, camera panning in, foggy forest, wind and GS15 motion 2. So this is something that I have added in order to give the camera movement. Now click on enter. And this is being generated. Now let's click on this regenerate button in order to regenerate some results so that I have three to four results to choose from. Here is one result. So there is partial movement in this one. Let's check out the next one. Yeah, some movement in this too. Now let's check the last one. As I generated three results. 
so all the shots have a little bit of movement now if you want to watch a dedicated video on Pika the link to that video is in the description the next tool is an image face swap tool that works in the discord server as you can see I have a server called face swap so to start using the tool create a new server by clicking on add a server create my own for me and my friends and then write a name for your server I've given it face swap who has face swap is my original server and I'm going to click on create now the next step is to follow the github link and click on discord bot invitation link double click on it and then select your server so face swap 2 and then click on continue authorize go to face swap 2 and the server is finally created now to start using the tool come right here and write slash swap id and save id so you have two options so first click on slash save id give your character a name so i'll write something like Aryan and then double click and select an image which you want to replace as the character so I have an image of Jennifer Lawrence I'm going to double click on this click on enter as you can see ID name Aryan created now click on slash again and swap ID now write the name Aryan again and double click on the image and select the image to replace the face and now click on enter and wait for a couple of minutes as you can see the face was replaced and now it looks like Jennifer Lawrence the hair and all cannot be changed only the face features can be changed let's try one more face so I'll click on slash swap id Aryan and double click and I'll select a different image to swap the face the next tool is called instaverse from blockade labs it enables you to convert your 2d images into a 3d scene so visit instaverse and right here you'll have two options click on 2d to 3d mode now just click on 2d texture and upload the image which you want to convert into a 3d scene I want to convert Let's convert this image. Now go to Leapix. This is one of the other useful tools. So go to Leapix and upload that same image into Leapix in order to generate the depth map of the image. Now Leapix has some good features to generate some good animations. So right here you have a lot of features like styles of animations. So right now there is a movement. You can change the movement wide circle circle you can increase the amount of motion by clicking on regular or more but this is already covered in my previous videos right now we are just going to generate the depth map just make sure the edge dilation is set to zero and then click on share and then click on depth map and save once you have saved the depth map go to instaverse and go to 2d to 3d animation and upload that same image once again because for some reason it vanished so this is the image and this is the depth map that I just downloaded now once you've done all that look at all these settings right here so you can move the camera by clicking on W just click on the screen once and then start clicking click on W and if you click on S the camera will go back if you click on E the camera will go up if you click on Q the camera will go down if you click on R the camera will reset so in this way you can generate and in this way you can create an animation using this tool and then you can set a screen recorder in order to record this 
Now, in order to escape this, just click on escape and then increase the size of this. Increase the speed of the animation. Now, if we click on the screen and if we move, as you can see, the speed has increased. This is uh, one animation style that you can generate from this. This was it for the video. If you liked the video then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.